It was complete domination by Jamaica Stacey Ann Williams in the women's 400 meters at the USATF Bermuda Grand Prix earlier today. Plus, we take a look at Alana Reed and Kemba Nelson as they battle in the women's 100 meters. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button to continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know the next video drops to drop a video at least once a day here at Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and the final leave your thoughts on the ready yep good to go well alana reed is the reigning national champion in terms of time in the under 20 women's 100 meters with her insane 10.92 also kemba nelson is one of the fastest youngsters jamaica has ever produced so we were looking forward to see them run at the USATF Bermuda Grand Prix 2024 earlier today in the women's 100 meters. In the end, it was the USA's Tamara Davis who walked away with a very convincing run with a time of 11.04. The win, however, was not legal. It was a plus 2.2 meters per second win. In fact, the win was everywhere. Courtney Johnson of the United States came second 11.27 and Alana Reed third 11.29. Kemba Nelson fourth in 11.30 seconds. 100 meters. So Alana Reed walked away with a third place run there and Kemba Nelson came in fourth. Now available Peter Lloyd World t-shirts with yep, good to go and bless up on the highest quality t-shirts. You can get long sleeve, short sleeve, any size and or color you choose. We have them cut for women and for men. So if you want to support the channel, keep us glowing, keep us growing, keep the best in sports happening. Get your Peter Lloyd World t-shirt because you royals are truly the best. World Championship 2023 400 meter silver medalist from the women's 4 by 400 meters. The anchor for the Jamaican team, Stacey Ann Williams, opened her season to bright, sunshiny days. Ran a solid, not the fastest 400 meter. Uh, she ran, of course, at the, we're covering it, the USATF Bermuda Grand Prix earlier today and was completely dominant. In fact, I would say she was up on most of the field within the first 100 meters and for the last 200 simply kept stretching away from the entire field. You can take a look and let, tell me if you agree with me. Stacey and Williams won in a time of 51.71, not the fastest time. The other Jamaicans, Julian Brum, Janelle Broomfield ran 54.09 and Rochelle Clayton, uh, the bronze medalist in women's 400 meter hurdles, ran 54.48 uh, to take the sixth spot. Stacey and spoke after her season opening win. So, um, just explain to us how you dealt with the win and had such a strong showing in Bermuda. Honestly, um, before coming here, I was aware that it's windy, so that wasn't a factor. The time, I wish it would have been better, but 
Given the circumstances, I'm where I should be. Where you should be. That's great. Well, enjoy the rest of the night. Congrats on the time here. Thank you. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Before we talk about Stacey Ann Williams, let's talk, let's talk about Alana Reed and Kemba Nelson. First, Kemba Nelson. Kemba Nelson, of course, came fourth in this one. Um, I don't remember seeing her run anything else from the beginning of this, for, for the beginning of the season. So this may be her season open. If not, she hasn't ran a lot of races. Time, I hope, was a little faster. But the truth is the wind was everywhere in Bermuda. I mean, it was insane. Some of the races, the, the wind was a plus five. That's like 11 miles an hour wind. That, that's like a small hurricane. Um, so the wind was everywhere. Uh, Alana Reed has, this is, I think, her third 100 meter. Um, I like the fact that they're working on her. She's getting used to running on the track, building her self-confidence. A third place is not bad. Like I said, the time I, I'd hoped was going to improve because I think she did run 11.09 recently. Um, Kemba Nelson, same thing. The more races, the better. Still very early in the season. As I've stated, it's going to be a very, very, very long season. Now, let me just say this. Tamara Davis ran a great race. Again, wind assisted, but very convincing win. Um, and, you know, you, you have to give her props. Great race. Big up to her. Now, um, I don't know what you all think, but I believe Alana Reed is, is evolving at the space at the pace that I would like to see her evolve at. Um, I'd like to see her in, run in a wind-friendly environment again. See what she does. Um, Kemba Nelson, I still believe she can be a factor. We cannot count her out. She's very, very fast, very talented. Now, Stacey Ann Williams. Stacey Ann Williams, the time, she said it in the interview that she was a little disappointed with the time. Well, I can understand that. The time wasn't fantastic, but strategically, she ran a great race. The wind was all over the place. Um, Kerry James, the legendary um, Grenadian 400 meter superstar, uh, explained that running into that wind on the back, the back end there at that stadium uh, in, bah in the Bahamas is really, really difficult and it can throw you off if you don't know what to do. Uh, so her time wasn't great, she complained about her time, but a win is a win. Psychologically, that's a good way to open your season, her first big race for the, for the season. Um, so that's really, really a self-confidence boost, and I guess they'll go back and tighten the, the wheels. Also, you know my thing, I don't want them to be running too fast. I want them to, to start peaking after nationals or just before, or just or actually during nationals. That's what I would prefer. Uh, I don't want anybody running no crazy sub 50s at this point. I really don't want her to be doing that. So this was a good opener for, for me and um, I want to know your thoughts. Are you disappointed? Like I said, the wind was everywhere. But this of course is my two cents. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, the like button. Remember you, your royals, your royals, kings and queens. Bless up!